Right, so the first step of this method is to solve all the edges on one face. So you'll find various tutorial, tutorials online of how to solve what's known as the cross. Um, it is an intuitive method. The general gist is that you find the, all the edges and you join them up with one of the, the faces that they need to go on. And once it, it's joined with that face, you can then look to join it with the other face. Now in this case, this green one, join it with that face, move it in. This red one, it needs to join with this one. And the green, though yet this face is down here. But there, so what we do is you move the gap across to offset these, pull this one down, and then move it back. Now that um, that idea of moving something that's already solved in such a way that it doesn't upset what you've done already, and just to position a piece and then move it back. That is another form of commutator. Um, uh, called a conjugate, and it's just a useful method to uh, to think about the ways of solving the cube. So another way of looking at this one, this one's stuck here. So what we can do is we can move this empty slot all the way down to join it up with a white face, and then we move it again, and we've got the cross solved. So that's how you would go about solving the cross. The next step is solving some corners.